Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And we are live here at Taco Bell. And I was excited because a little bit ago, they brought back nacho fries. So I got my order nacho fries, which I love nacho fries at Taco Bell. Because they brought them in and back and got rid of them and brought them back. And they have them again. And then they have something called grilled cheese nacho fries, which are new. And I was excited about that because it would look really good. It had meat and cheese mix and the advertisement made it look super, super good. So I ordered the spicy version, which they put jalapenos and the spicy sauce on. And then mine came with spy on it. I'm guessing that means spicy. Even though spy and spicy connected. I don't know. So I opened it up. And I don't know if it's the product or the Taco Bell, but I was a little bit disappointed because when I saw in the advertisement, this box looks full and delicious. But when I opened mine up here, this is what I got. Just a little splunk of meat and cheese and fries, which I get more nacho fries in my box than I do on here, and I pay almost double for this than I do the actual nacho fries. And grilled cheese, I was thinking it would be more crunchy. Yeah, and this is just like, they threw some nacho fries, threw some cheese, um, meat, and jalapenos on it, and it only fills up maybe half or so of the box, what what I thought it would have been at least. (laughs) So, this one for $3.99, regular size goes for $2.19, so there hardly is any fries in here, so I almost even want to count the fries to let you know compared to like a regular order of nacho fries. Okay. Also, the new menu, there's cantina sauce, so I'm going to try that out too. All right, let's go with this and get a good scooping of a little bit of everything. You're going to count the fries? I think I have, what, one or two fries in here, little man fire. That's like two. Okay, so like two fries. I'll count them as I go. So I have a little bit of cheese, jalapeno meat, and fries. You sure that's only two? I think it's just two. It looks like one here and one here. It's two. It's two. Two fries. Is it good? It tastes a little bit of all of it. It doesn't taste bad, but... Alright, so here we go. Here's gonna be... Chunky cheese, more jalapeno. This is two more fries. Cheese got a little bit of a kick to it. It's two fries. A bunch of meat and... There's one more fry with a bunch of meat and cheese and jalapeno. So that's five? Mm-hmm. There's one more. Six. Oh, hold on. You got some jalapenos and meat and cheese. There you go. Six fries. There's like a small, small fry. Seven, eight. Eight fries. That's all cheese. I think that's and there's like another small one. So that's nine fries. And the now cheese, I think, it. is supposed to be the grilled cheese part. Now you got two. Make sure there's no fries hiding under it. Oh, just wait. Here's oh, one. Small, ten. very small one. Ten fries. With, ten fries. with this quote unquote crispy cheese. Now Which is chewy <laughs> cheese. Now let's try. Um, Flavor's not that bad, but just by the number of fries and size being twice as much as a regular nacho fry, a little disappointed. The value with the jalapeno and cheese is probably going to put most average people up to a five or six, I would say, maybe like a six. Wait, we still got to see how many fries is in an average. So that was ten. So then, just for fun, see. I'm going to try some of the new cantina sauce, because that's part of their new release, too. I'm going to try some just regular. And then maybe try some with it. What, see how right. many are here in go. here as well. <laughs> it's like a... 
garlicky, oniony, maybe kind of avocado-y, more of a healthier sauce. It has a little bit of more heat. It has a little bit of heat to it, too, I think. Unless that's just amped up from my has jalapeno in it. Stuff. This has jalapeno, probably has a little heat, too. Seems like a more healthy sauce. A healthy choice to canteen the sauce. All right. So... Wait, we should probably see how many here fries we go. There. I'm gonna count an average nacho fries. So in my grilled cheese nacho, I got ten fries, two or three of them being like super small. Regular order of nacho fries, which is about full, pretty pretty standard. One. Oh, that one. This one counts as one of all part two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And some of those are small, but some of them on the grilled cheese are small. So 26 natural fries in the 219 average size and 10 in the other one. So I don't know. Go to your go to your local Taco Bell. It's not bad, but I just wish it would have been a little bit maybe better quality and more fries in there. Um, because it seemed like they just threw a couple fries, threw some meat, cheese, and jalapenos on top, and called it a day. And it was only like half full. So go to your local Taco Bell, order it. It's the grilled cheese nacho fries, and um, see if yours is. As skimpy as mine or not? I, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping maybe I can try and search for it at another Taco Bell, see if it's a little bit better. But nacho fries, mm, these are definitely always one of my faves. I'm not saying the grilled cheese was bad. I was just the way it was presented was small. It was a little bit soggy. He value was all right for what it was. I mean, probably like a six for an average person. No effect of chili head, really. And flavor was all right, too, with the cheese and stuff. But just was a little bit disappointing that I paid almost twice as much for that than a regular or nacho price. and just had a few extra things thrown on there and barely any fries. Ten. It's supposed to be grilled cheese nacho fries, not mini order of fries. And was it? It's like a baby size. How many was it? All right. Enough? Anyway. Hope you enjoyed. Go check it out. Put it in the messages or contact me if you go and get a chance to try this. And let me know if you get a better size than I do or if it's just across the board just going to be that small. All right. Have a good night, and we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brightmorn Show.